Welcome back, dear readers, to Son of the Hedgehog 2006, episode 35, the grand finale, part one. I'm going to remain quiet for the, uh, the beginning of the final episode. But there's a little Majora's Mask goth throwback for you all, and Mephilus's true form. I will remain qu quiet for the maj the remainder. Whose toes are those? <laughs> Finally, the seal is broken. At long last, I'll be able to join with you. Bring him back, Sega. Now, Chaos Emerald. It's time for the final curtain call. He's so good with words. Chaos Shadow form works. I love this video game. Enter Solaris, the time-eating, lip-moistening, Soliana Flarin. DL the Skippin, Kalkia Teleportin, God of Space and Time. Is this because of that light? The Chaos Emerald has disappeared. Silver? What are you doing here? This is all so confusing. confusing. It's all because of Solaris. That's a good call, Rouge. You know everything, don't you? It seems we were all caught. They can by hold the ten terabytes. Distortion. Enter Robotnik. <laughs> Enter Omega's jazz hands. Iblis's seal has been broken. Due to Mephilus's manipulation. Everyone look at the Sonic. guilty party. <laughs> it's 
stop no. putting Omega sounds. You don't think. Sonic! <laughs> they did such a good job with her reaction. Well, yeah, it's pretty good. Just shadow. <laughs> Metalist Pretend not to see. Food. His plan all along was to cause the princess to be so consumed with despair that she'd cry. So that's why you wanted me to kill Sonic before. This reaches the emotional heights of a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon ending. And time itself will collapse and disappear into nothingness. The instability of time caused this time space rift. It won't remain for much longer. We've no time to waste. We've got to defeat it now. Eggman's about to become the best character in the game. It is a transcendent life form that exists in the past, present, and future. Defeating it here. Now would do nothing. No, I won't give up. There has to be a way. If you say it exists in the past, present, and future, I'll destroy them there all you at go. once. Certainly. It might have been possible. If he was still alive. <laughs> see that? You're just like the least dear readers, you can see it. What's the matter? Don't you want to be just like her? Sonic's presence in the mm -hmm. wind. I don't think he's dead yet. I'm just now noticing half of the songs that play in the background I'm of this. I'm sure of it. It's not too late. Of course! Let's call him back with the power of the Chaos Emeralds! Oh yeah! Here he comes! Focus your thoughts on using its power to perform this miracle. Got an expert over here. You can do it, Princess! I can? You were the vessel that was used to seal Iblis. Imagine being the one. You should be able to use the gem's power to rescue Sonic's soul. That uses the gem's power to rescue Sonic's soul. They're all posing for the camera. Take plenty of screenshots. I'll do it. All right, Eggman, that's your cue. <laughs> yes. Solaris flung the Chaos Emeralds to the distant Look at him go. distorted world. To collect them all in time, we'll have to split up. I'll go too. Oh, good contribution, I guess. For Sonic. So at least watch over him. I wish Amy doesn't volunteer because I'm gonna have to play as her. And after replaying this game, I can safely say she is my least favorite character to play. She can turn invisible. Okay, so welcome to the final segment of the game. Sonic, now, this is... Uh, if you've played Sonic 06 before, you know what I'm about to get into. It's awful, so... Forget anything I said about any other section being anywhere near this awful. Now what you'll have to do is you'll be jumping through miniaturized versions of levels you visited previously. So right now we're in the Crisis City section. Each of these levels is going to be populated by these things. They are instant kill death spheres, and they suck you in as you might have just noticed there. And you've got to find a Chaos Emerald in every one of these mini levels. They're harder to duck. They're harder to dodge in the air, so when you're running close to one of these guys, you've got to... You're best off staying on the ground, because your character can run away from them. Like, physically run away from them. Some of them throw boxes, too. I never figured out why they do that. Oh, here we go. 
It's one of these guys. So yeah, I'll, I'll slow down the time space rift by hitting this guy. One ups do not respawn. However, and like out, they do give you some semblance of a warning before they appear. There we go. Now you're supposed to go through that building over there. However, I know where the emerald is, so we're just gonna skadoodle over here. After I pick up a 1-up, because we're going to have to do this with every playable uh, character in the game in one run. You want as many 1-ups as possible. Luckily I discovered this little trick with uh, Omega the bot the last time we played as our hero. She'll let me skip a few little sexy sections. I happen to be an expert in these things. Eh, meh. Let's get out of here. There we go. Ouchies. Yeah, they throw boxes. Hit these little guys to slow down the decomposition of time space. Um, what that translates to is it erases all the orbs for a bit. Don't touch the orb. I always told you that, didn't I? There we go. And that'll get us through the Omega section. Now hopefully we don't lose all of our lives in uh, one of the characters ahead of here. I'll make it look easy, don't worry. But, um, many a player, a let's player, a pro, a dear reader has been stuck in this end of the world segment. In these dastardly, bastardly spheres. There we go. Also, if you don't know just how these levels are. Now, Silver is one of the, if I remember correctly, one of the harder ones. Just a, it's a longer segment, and there are no checkpoints. Good thing I found out you don't actually have to hold that to activate these effects. Uh-oh. I got a little too khaki. But he'll never give up, so we're gonna go. Alright, let's... Preserver power. That was my mistake. Here we go. Uh, yeah, see? Timing ever so different. Here we go, silly me. Uh oh. I'm still being way too cocky. Remember in uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the character, the creative character, characters were called Cax for short? I like that. Like, the best Cack. <laughs> So we're just gonna make it to the top of this tower, and that'll be the end of Silver's section. You're probably gonna get a better showcase of how the orbs work. Okay, and they... <laughs> and they affect the enemies, too. Uh, Mephilus doesn't need these guys anymore. <laughs> Again, instant death, even if you got a rings. Thumb hurts. So I'm gonna take it off the analog stick, but I'm a little scared. Look out. Oh boy. I like they look at you too. Oh yeah, a lot of people die to that one. In my humble opinion. I don't think. If I'm not sure of a fact, I shouldn't just call it an opinion to kind of like cover my ass. I apologize. All you future lawyers out there. Or debatists. I didn't take debate. I've just been baited. Uh oh. <laughs> Remember that episode of Rugrats when uh, Tommy's grandpa is doing a speech? He's accepting, like, the Badger of the Month Club award or something. And he says, oh, clothes don't make the man! And then Tommy enters on screen and he's naked, because he just found out that you can be naked. Well, he... Whoa! That's never happened. <laughs> anyway, um, Tommy found out that he can be naked, but he gets in trouble for it. But then he, like, freedom fights for his right to be naked. And... He crashes... 
uh, Gilbert Pickles' speech. I think that's his name. And... Uh, he cuts the speech short to say, Everyone, I'd like you to meet my grandson, Tommy Pickles! And I think he, like, has an idle comment about his butt. But, um, the significance of that in regards to this game is nothing. But, oh, now I have to play as Amy, so... Got the verticality, but not the... Woohoo! You don't got the woohoo. I just don't like to jump. She's got ups, but no dunksies. Um, uh, everyone hated his speech up until that point, but Tommy saved the day by turning up with no pants. And it just goes to show... <laughs> so debris can kidnap you. No, this is more times than I've ever died in the end of the world segment. I promise, I assure you, I kid you not, dear readers. Mother. It's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, cheap trick. Uh huh. There we go. That's okay, they can only spawn so many of the orbs. Ah, boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't like Amy. <laughs> okay, welcome- ow. To the end of the world! Boink! Fourth Symphony. Oh, she's kind of like no no Jacuzer. Yeah, keep quiet, underachiever. Remember when no no said that? Whoa. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Slick. Slick Rick. Oh, I still got time to sound the alarm. Here we are. Gentlemen, gentle ladies, gentle readers. Bap. Just bap him in the little kneecap. And just for good measure, double tap this guy. And the gem will be at the end of this area. We're just gonna skirt by these guys. I think we're still in the searchlight's gaze of influence. And collect that emerald. We've got four lives to work with, dear readers. And Shadow! I think this is the... If and I remember correctly, the end of our trial. If I can remember how to get to the end. This is one of the... If I remember correctly, I had my hardest time with this one, because it's not immediately obvious where we need to go. Oh, we need to ride the eagle. Oh, yeah. You know, it's a good ear for a good time when you hear that. Just don't... Oh, come on. There you go. Point. Hey, it's a good day whenever the homing attack doesn't do anything squirrely. Speaking of squirrely homing attacks, woohoo! Welcome to Woohoo Island! And a sixth live we can work. This is a tricky spot. I remember I died here once in high school. In real life. Ooh, that's why, that's why! Oh, I'm a little stressed, dearest. crazy thing. I don't care about you. I will take that ring. Okay, well, whatever. Let's do it to it. Uh. Alright, toughest section in the game. Done. Hey, I'll take it. A B for backlog complete. We're on to the final boss of Son of the Hedgehog 2006. Cheersies! Enjoy. Okay, 
lost emeralds, gems of miracles, please heed my call. I wish to save this world. Mm -hmm. I wish to cleanse my father's sin, and I wish to talk to Sonic once again. The only way to cleanse a sin is to commit a greater one. She knows this. You have given me so many things. Mm -hmm. Now it is my time to return the favor. I care not what happens to me, but please heed my voice. Sonic, come back to me, to us. Keep an eye on Silver. Will they? <laughs> Yes! Have you ever? Thank you, Elise. And there you have it, folks. The death and life of Sonic the Hedgehog. We got one last job to do. Imagine how many people didn't get to see this. One of you out there is was almost one of them. Enter Solaris. The bird Pokemon. That body of life. Alright, I'm gonna cut it here. This will be part one of the final episode. Stay tuned for part two.